It is always encouraging to, when new product offerings are introduced to the market in order to improve and promote not only the experience of visitors to Barbados, but also to modernize and extend destination Barbados into the future. Perhaps Chaka was at maybe one of my first meetings uh, at, at my ministry when I indicated to them that we need to undertake a review of all attractions in Barbados vis-a-vis -vis the competitiveness with other destinations as we continue to build, out, to build out attractions across Barbados. I think it is fair to say that Chaka, the crown jewel of Caribbean adventures, has lived up to its high quality submission, which offered a strong proposal for investment and development of Barbados's greatest attraction and natural asset into an enviable economic and adventure park. This unique tourism offering, first mentioned in 1795, has now transformed into a natural eco-adventure tourist attraction that can now stand alongside those within this hemisphere. The company's strategy over the past two years has ushered Harrison's Cave into an ever-changing tourism landscape and strengthened its marquee status for future generations. It must be noted that Harrison's Cave was mainly a tour stop attraction for cruise tourists, with cruise arrivals expected to return to the pre-pandemic levels of close to 800,000 during the winter months. It is hoped that the activity profile of the site continues to be enhanced and developed as a holistic setting for tourists to eat, drink, and play. My ministry continues to recognize the importance of cultural heritage as a pull factor for visitors to Barbados. Therefore, we, in collaboration with the tourism and cruise industry stakeholders, work on project rejuvenation, product rejuvenation projects to deliver immersive and memorable experiences to cruise visitors and to diversify the island's tourism offerings. Chaka continues to be innovative by utilizing the natural surroundings of the cave, thereby capitalizing on the offerings of the niche market known as adventure tourism. It will certainly complement our welcoming environment while representing a taste of the cultural heritage of Barbados that is focused on experiences and thrilling activity. The adventure at Harrison's Cave is a gem of an experience. Customers are afforded thrilling activities such as the Gully Challenge Course, the Monkey Zipline, and so much more. After the exciting, idyllic, and unforgettable experience, customers will now be afforded the opportunity to enjoy food and drink, uh, to enjoy food and drink in the new Green Monkey Bar and Grill, which we are all witnessing today, and as well to enjoy what I refer to as a distressing walk on the pride of Barbados, Nature Trail and Avery. Chucker's innovative ideas have supported the structure that ensures the long-term success and economic viability of Barbados's tourism. The global adventure travel market, I'm told, is worth about $263 billion per year. An eco-adventure at Harrison's Cave and the new additions will allow Barbados to remain competitive in the adventure tourism niche market within the region. Moreover, I must compliment Chaka for its philanthropy. Through its foundation, it is benefit, which has benefited surrounding the surrounding St. Thomas community, protected its heritage status while being sustainable by decreasing the footprint of persons walking through the cave. In this regard, I wish to encourage Chaka to continue its good corporate citizenship in supporting community tourism and leveraging quality opportunities for sustainable development of tourism in Barbados. Your vision, foresight, and faith in, diver in diversifying this historic site has added value not only to Barbados, the Barbados brand, but by extent, but and by extension, the tourism industry.